Welcome to this video in AI in Google Docs. You can turn Google Docs into smart writing partner. What happens is people use Google Docs, mostly people, entrepreneurs, freelancers, students, because it's a free software. They use this Google Docs for writing documents. A student will write a document for maybe an essay about global warming. A freelancer might write a proposal document. A entrepreneur might write a document for maybe an agreement which can pass on to freelancers and the vendors. So there are various use cases for using this Word Docs. But what happens is uh, people spend a lot of time into thinking, drafting, imagining what has to be written. They keep on fine tuning. They use different AI tools like ChatGPT and Gemini to write the data and then bring back into Google Docs. We have an AI feature in Google Docs inbuilt where you don't have to go to third party softwares to get your data written. In the same Google Docs, you can just write a simple prompt, create a document and it will create a document actually for you within few seconds. Let's try to understand about this Google Docs in details. So first thing on my screen, if you see, we have Google open here. I'll just click on nine dots, scroll down and I can select the option as Docs from here. Google Docs, which is Google document. And once I do that, I can click on this blank document option here. Now, there are various features, but I'll cover the most important crucial features for you. The first one, if you see generate a document, second is help me write, third one is templates. So let's click on generate a document and here the box at the bottom, we can write a simple prompt over here. So let's say if you're a student, it will be helpful for creating you a, a resume, a resume which has high ATS score. ATS score is which is something which is useful for having good ranking in ATS will help you to get better jobs. Okay. It will help you or I can say it is better to get your profile selected. Okay. So let me write here, create. So I've given a prompt, which is very simple prompt, create a resume for data analyst role, having skills like Power BI and Excel with a good ATS score. What is ATS score? It's an ATS means applicant tracking system, which is a score, which is used by all the companies to track whether this person's resume, not the person, his resume or her resume is matching my job description. If the percentage of ATS score is higher, your chances of getting that, uh, you know, resume selected is higher. I clicked on create and within few seconds, less than 60 seconds, it will create a good job description or I can say resume with a good ATS score. You see all the details are given here. Now what people do is they go for paid softwares, they go for uh, GPT to get this output and here you get the output here quickly. Okay. Now this is for a student which is trying to apply for a company. So if I go back and click on new document, now let's talk about the freelancer or let's talk about from the company angle. So let's say I'm a HR in the company and I want to create a job description. HR people are not technical people. They do not know what exactly is the requirement. So some project manager, some team leader will give them the requirement. They have to find out the good, good job description and they create it. But here, as I said, heavy lifting job can be done by this Google Docs. So as an HR, I've given a simple prompt, like create a job description, which is JD for hiring a data analyst with skills of Excel and Power BI, click on create. Now it will use its own brain and uh, give me a good job description with a proper template. And you see, it is given about us, position summary, responsibilities, qualification, preferred skills, how to apply and everything and the deadline as well. So I don't have to struggle in doing this heavy lifting job. It's created simple over here. And the last example I can give you, let's say if I'm an entrepreneur of a company, which, uh, which I'm managing, let's say 50 people, it's a startup company. Definitely nothing is defined in a startup company. No leaves it's defined. And people keep on asking you how many days we have a leave when I can take a half day. Do I have a work from home and blah, blah, many, many things they keep on asking as a founder entrepreneur, he's juggling between different things. They do not know all the things over there. They cannot be smart in all the things, but yes, they have a tool which they can utilize. And now I can ask my uh, AI in Google Docs to create a you know policy document for the leave approvals, how many work from home, how many uh, leaves I can give and all those things. So I can click on generate a document and I can give a prompt here. Create a policy document for my company, which is for the leave applications. I want to give 14 uh, leaves in the year and uh, I want to give two work from home in a month and uh, uh, public holidays should be mentioned, which is given. And this proposal document or the policy document for is for the country in India 
and uh, uh, this should be tide proof and uh, make sure there are no loopholes also if people are coming after the office hours i mean nine hours is compulsory they have to fill in the company and uh, if the person is coming late three times in a month i have to deduct half day of salary okay something like that so create a good policy document for me that's it i've just given a verbal command i pressed alt h or windows h to give this voice command windows h and you see it has created the policy document for me if i scroll down let's see how many pages five pages of document okay obviously 90 percent of heavy lifting job is done by google docs 90 percent just the 10 percent of fine tuning because ai also makes mistakes it's not foolproof so the thing is you have to go through and check which one is right which one is not right okay at least 90 percent work is done which is a good part so if it is 100 pages, 20 pages of agreement document between you and a third party, maybe a real estate company, use this feature. It is going to save a lot of time. I hope you're understanding how this AI feature can help you save a lot of time. The last option which I can show you is also one thing. Suppose if you want to create a document and there are, you know, templates. Earlier there were templates which are missing. Now there are ready-made templates. So if I click on templates option, you see, there are plenty of inbuilt templates given for different purposes. For example, if I want to create a document for competitive analysis, I already have a template with me. If I want to create a template for interview guide, I already have feedback tracker, event planner, everything. So if I click on this uh, feedback tracker, I can just click on that feedback tracker and click on insert. This template, if you try to create manually, it takes a lot of time. But here I have already got this template inside Google Docs, which is a beautiful part here. So these are very simple features. There are plenty of them. I'm just covering which are most important for a person like you who's working in a company or trying to apply or trying to make uh, or trying to save your time. So these are the things over there. I hope you're understanding AI in Google Docs. That's all for this video.